up is the Lord. Praise Thank God. You Thank you. That's you coming in, bro. About to, about to go ahead on the mic and let it go. Yes.
special for yourself. It's over now. Gotta leave your troubles far behind. Or just enough to ease your mind. Cause only time can decide. Maybe you'll be You never get to get closer to the motherland than you are right here in Oceanside, California.
uh, the people there, they're like, man, where you from? You ain't black, you ain't white, where you from? <laughs> so we say we're, uh, we're from the South Pacific Islands of Samoa. And the old ladies, the old ladies will say, uh, oh, God bless you. And uh, after living in the South for almost 30 years, to realize that that means I feel sorry for you. We're so glad to be with uh, our people. You know, I remember uh, growing up and uh, being in the garage. Every Samoan family, every Polynesian family has a garage. But the garage, we all know that the garage is not for your car. The garage is where all the, all the brothers, all the Usos sleep and, and live. And uh, it's a place where we uh, grew up listening to oldies but goodies. Remember the oldies? Slow jams, and uh, we want to play a medley of some classic love songs for all the couples. Any couples out here right now? All right. I hope you enjoy this. of Pongo Pongo. Growing up in Samoa, devotion was part of everyday life. And being around our people, if it's okay, we're going to let you experience that part of our lives. We're going to take you back into our living room 40 years ago. And this is what it sounded like in the Katina household. No
Yeah, a little louder. I wanna say thank you. Wanna say thank you. Oh, thank you. Everything for everything. Oh, you are. tonight. I'm thankful for you all. I'm thankful for uh, all my cousins and all my uncles and aunties. I'm thankful for the, man, that view that you all see, that beach. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for Oceanside, Vista, Carlsbad, San Diego. I'm so thankful. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my culture. I'm thankful for my Samoan culture. I'm thankful to be from Polynesia. In fact, just for a moment. Amen. Amen. I may say, I'm going to 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 say, I tell you that um, I, I am thankful to be back in Oceanside. I'm thankful to our brother Wayne, sister Kiki, our brother Paul. I, I'm thankful for all of these people who have put this together for your enjoyment. I'm thankful for, for this opportunity. My brothers have to uh, and I have to be here. But you know what the most that I'm thankful for? I'm thankful that I'm forgiven. I'm not perfect, I'm not perfect, far from it, but I'm thankful that I'm forgiven, and I gotta tell you, I'm not forgiven because I'm from Oceanside, I'm not forgiven because I live in America, although I'm glad to live here, I'm not forgiven because of my Samoan culture, no, I'm forgiven because what a man named Jesus did Amen. for me. Glory. so that I could be free. Amen. The five of us, our dad is retired from the Marines. Semper Fi, anyone who's here. And I want to thank all those veterans, those active military that are fighting for our country right now. But when our dad came back from Vietnam, he was an alcoholic, he was messed up. He was bound by sin and shame. And here's what I know. With this many people, there might be one person and you are bound by sin and shame. And here's the deal. We're all sinners. The Bible says, for all have sinned and we fall short. So what do we need? We need a Savior. The good news is this. Jesus wants to have a relationship with you even more than you want it with him. And I know I'm talking to a bunch of Samoans, so I'm not talking about going to church or singing in the choir. All those, those things are very good. I'm talking about a personal relationship with Jesus. That's how you become forgiven. So if there's anyone here tonight, and I know it's a time of celebration, but you feel...
feel bound by sin and shame and addiction and abuse. We want to tell you no shame. You don't have to carry that shame. Jesus already carried it for you. So if you you say, well, I, I want that, Joe. I want that, Katina. I want to be forgiven. What do I do? Here's what the Bible says. It doesn't say go to church. It doesn't say don't do this or do this. It says this. If you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus died and rose again, you'll be free, forgiven. You'll be free. You'll be saved. So I'm going to ask all heads bowed. If there's anyone here and you're ready to make that commitment, you say it's that easy. It's that simple. Jesus did the work. He did it. If that's you in, in, the, in, the, in the seats, in the bleachers right here. Maybe at the hotel you hear my voice and you say, man, I want Jesus. Jesus wants you. Just pray this prayer. Say, dear Jesus, thank you that you know everything about me, the good and the bad, and you love me. I ask you, Jesus, come into my heart. Be my savior. Be my Lord. I'm tired of trying to do life on my own. I'm tired of this sin, this shame. I need your forgiveness. I believe in my heart. Confess with my mouth that you, Jesus, died on the cross and you rose again so that I could be free. Amen. Give yourselves a hand. I want to ask you, if you said that prayer, my brothers and I are going to be right here to our right, to your left. Please come and tell us. Say, hey, tonight I accepted Jesus. We want to meet you. We want to welcome you home. We want to tell you about what you need to do next. But until then, let's worship God. He's been so faithful. He is so faithful.
Oh, I'm not going to 